Okay, that's much better. This is JP from Now the Lights Over Arkham. This time I will be playing Ant-Man in Protection Aspect against Claw on Expert difficulty uh, instead of the usual Masters of Evil modular set. I added a couple of the modular sets that came in the Red Skull uh, expansion. I added the Hydra Assault and the Weapon Master modular sets into this uh, counter deck. But let's look at Ant-Man's deck first. In the allies slots we have Black Widow, Clea, Iron Fist and Nova from the protection aspect. Then we have Mockingbird and Nick Fury. So uh, pretty usual protection allies. I built the deck to have a lot of energy resources at hand. Uh, so that I can use Nova's ability more. It also has the, the Desperate Defense uh, event that lets me ready Ant-Man after I defend and take no damage. Other than that, uh, nothing really special. The deck is 45 cards. I just can't seem to get my protection decks uh, to 40 cards, so they usually low to 45 but I'm okay with that many of the cards uh, are on the table there are a lot of upgrades and allies in the deck uh, but I think that is enough of the deck so we are playing on expert difficulty so we have a couple of the side schemes in play from the Kang set we have the immortal claw that adds an acceleration token and 10 health claw then we have a defense network that prevents us from uh, uh, thwarting the main scheme and the last thing we need to do is to flip until we get a minion so we get the armored guard that is quite usual and it comes in play with tough and we are ready to begin so let's see how Anthan does on protection aspect. So let's get started. I have pre-shuffled the deck, so let's draw our opening hand. So we get the Mockingbird Med Team, Energy, Avengers Mansion, Giant Storm and wrist gauntlets. I think I'll try to play the mansion down. Um, not a fan of the wrist gauntlets. And I think Giant Stomp won't help us in the beginning. Uh, I think I hold on to Mockingbird. So I'll uh, uh, mulligan the history. We get Army of Ants, Momentum Shift, and Nick Fury. Well, not really helpful. I think these all go... Uh, yeah, we don't have enough to play the Mansion and Mockingbird, so... Maybe we just uh, play the Army of Ants and maybe keep Mockingbird in hand for next turn or Nick Fury. Okay, let's see. Well, uh, first thing we do is to... I'll play down the mansion, use the energy, then uh, I think we are using the Mockingbird and Momentum Shift, as we can't play the Momentum Shift, there is no damage to heal. And let's go a card with the mansion, we get Black Widow, uh, doesn't change that much. I think I'm keeping Black Widow, I'll play the Army of Ants down with Nick Fury. I'll flip to Ant-Man Giant version. So I'll keep my hand over here and play the cards over here. Uh, sorry for the fiddling. I'm uh, trying out different layouts for the uh, game at layout so <laughs> bear with me. Hopefully this is better than the previous version so it's a more 
uh, easy to follow what, what I have in hand and on the table. So uh, we flip to end and transversion, we deal one damage to an enemy, then we just defeat the enemy. And uh, that is all I can do. I'll. Hmm. Actually, should I just leave the armored guard B and. Okay, let's back up. I think it's better to go into Army of Ants. Yep, uh, we'll go to Antman Tiny version. Then uh, we remove one threat from a scheme. Then we'll work for two. Remove the defense network. This is. is uh, I think we try to remove this next turn. And uh, Army of Ants will just uh, remove the tough. So next turn we can eat more easily defeat the armor guard. He can take the one damage. That's okay. Uh, we'll draw back up to five. We keep the Black Widow in hand. We get three size. Uh, Antman's helmet. Med team and Clea. So, um, good cards to have for next turn. We go to the villain phase. We add a threat uh, to the main scheme and one extra from the accelerator token. Low attacks. I won't defend. I'll take. Uh, one plus four, so five damage, and this armor guard deals one. And that is those attacks. We get an encounter card, and it is advanced, so we scheme for two plus two, so four. Oh, yeah, I forgot to flip this. So we get, uh, yeah, uh, we go to six, so we advance and we get another minion. So we discard cards. And this guy had this quick strike, so it deals two damage right away. Uh, not looking pretty good, uh, really good <laughs> at the moment, but uh, let's see if we can uh, regroup on the next turn. So. Uh, that is that turn. Let's go to the next hero phase. So, I think we need uh, to play Black Widow. But first, let's draw a card with the mansion. We get Queen Carrier. Uh, we really would like to get the Ant-Man's Helmet also into play. But first... Uh, these minions are not really nice. Okay, let's think about it. Uh, I can deal one damage to an enemy. And okay, I think I can clear this with uh, the resize and stuff. Okay, so. Let's actually first resize. Uh, we deal one damage when we flip to giant version. We deal it over here. Oh yeah, uh, <laughs> let's back up. Always forget I need to play something. Uh, let's get the resize back. Lucky I didn't throw any cards. Uh, I'll use the med team uh, in carrier, and we don't have enough to play back widow. So I'll use these three to play the Antman's helmet. Then we will resize. Then we deal the one damage. Oh, yeah, before that. Uh, before that, I will use the army of ants so I don't forget, so we deal another here. Then uh, we draw a card, we get wasp. 
uh, from the resource, then um, I think I think we will. Oh yeah, we heal two from the helmet. Uh, I'll just flip back, so I have. Uh, now resized to giant and then uh, resized back to tiny and we draw a card with the helmet then we remove one threat from a scheme then we play clear uh, we use wasp and energy barrier clear will defeat this jet trooper and one will ward off the immortal claw I think that is our turn. We will ready up. Now we draw back up to five. We get giant strength, giant stomp, thin particles, energy barrier, and strength. Okay, and we go to the villain phase. Now we add one threat to the main scheme. Claw attacks, Clea will defend. Claw hits for 1 plus 3, so 4 damage. Clea gets shuffled into our counter deck, uh, in our player deck. We get an encounter card, and it is gang up. Oh dear, this will hurt. So. Oh yeah, the armored guard hit us for one. We will definitely defend for the claw attack. So uh, claw hits for one plus two, so one damage. Then uh, the armored guard hits for one. Okay, well we've survived that villain phase. Let's go to the next here. Let's see, uh, I think we need to s uh, start thinking about how we <laughs> get some health back and keep uh, us alive. I'll draw a card, we get, well, we get clear, that's that's a decent pull. So, hmm, let's see, I think we want to heal, so I'll be playing in particles in giant form. Then uh, we really don't need the giant strength at the moment, so I'll play. I could play giant stomp actually. So I I go to giant. I deal one. I deal one. Then I deal. Oh yeah! Uh, before that, I need to play Clea to defeat the armor guard. Let's see. Okay, so I need to, as I understand this, if if this dies before the deal 8 damage, I can do the 8 damage to Claw. So I need to play Clear. I need to have 3. Okay, uh, that works. So I'll play Clear. I'll deal, oh yeah, I have Army of Ants. I have everything I need. Uh, so, one damage here. Clear hits for one damage here. Yeah, this, this works fine. I will flip to giant version. We deal one damage to the guard. Then we'll... Oh yeah, uh, we went to uh, giant version. We heal with uh, two with the uh, helmet. Then we'll play using the team particles. We use giant strength and energy to play the giant storm. Uh, we heal another two, two damage from the thin particles. Okay, we I think we are stabilizing. So we deal one damage, and then we deal uh, eight damage. Okay. <laughs> Here it is. So one damage, and oh, it's each minion. So no minions in play. I just deal the eight. Okay, 
and that is our turn. We ready up. We draw back up to four. We get desperate defense, energy barrier, another desperate defense, and endurance. So I think it's going to be a build up turn next turn. But let's go to villain phase. We add a threat to the main scheme. Claw attacks. I will defend and I'll use desperate defense. I played with desperate defense, so I have plus two to defense. If I defend successfully, I get ready. So a claw hits for uh, one plus one. So we take no damage. So we get ready. And the encounter card is it's the weapon runner. It searches. And it's a Hydra Flame Soldier. So a Hydra Flame Soldier is one scheme, one attack, uh, force response that the Hydra Flame Soldier makes an undefeated. Undefended attack against you, discard the support you control. So a couple of enemies to deal with, no big problems there. And that is the villain phase, let's go to the next hero phase. Uh, we start by drawing a card with the mansion, I'll get Nova. I think we are not playing Nova. Mm, we have no, <laughs> not enough resources. So, I think I'm uh, hitting the flame soldier for three. I'll flip the tiny version. I'll de uh, remove one threat from here. I'll draw a card uh, with the helmet. I get army of ants. I'll use army of ants to defeat the flame soldier. I think I will play Army of Ants. I will deal one damage here. I will play Endurance. So I get uh, three hit points, so I'm at 10. So by now I have 15 maximum health. And. Okay. So I deal one damage to the weapon runner, and Clea will finish off the weapon runner. And Clea gets shuffled into our deck. That is our whole turn, we ready up. We go back up to 5. Now we get momentum shift, team particles, unflappable. Another momentum shift and giant strength. So I think we are uh, momentum shifting a lot next turn. So this turn we get a threat to the main scheme, claw attacks. I think I'm fine defending this turn. Yeah, I, I don't see we need to work that much. So, one plus five, so six. So we depend for two, so four damage. Okay, so we're down to down to six, which is fine. And counter card is uh, close vengeance. Claw attacks you if this deals damage. Place one threat. So claw attacks us for uh, five. <laughs> Okay, we are one away from dead. <laughs> that that was clutch. We add one threat to the main scheme. So we definitely need to get some healing done next turn. But that is the villain phase. Let's go to the next hero phase. So we have one health remaining. Uh, we really need to heal up. So let's draw a card. We get the night nurse. Then we have some decisions. Um, I think we're just, before we forget, use the army of ants to deal two damage to claw. So claw is down to eight. And then 
I think we are. Hmm. So let's uh, think about this. I want to play two momentum shifts. But I really want the night nurse in the play too. If I play uh, night nurse with team particles, I draw a card. It's still not guaranteed enough. I think all of my double resources are in the discard. No, we still have some. I think we could take a risk. Or I could... Yeah, let's do it this way. So, I play the momentum shift. I use the pin particles and unflap all. So I uh, heal two damage and deal two damage. Then uh, I draw a card with the pin particles. I get desperate defense. That doesn't help us. I think I'm not. I'll play the. Just uh, play the giant strength. I'll flip to giant version. I heal two with the helmet. And I'll play the knight's nurse. And I'll immediately use one to heal one. I have no uh, stat status cards on me to remove, so that's that, and uh, just <laughs> just forgot did I heal to with the helmet okay, uh, just counting this quick, so so I uh, played one momentum shift, two go to three, I flip to giant go to five, nice minus and yeah, I think I'm, I'm in the clear with the uh, healing. Uh, that is my turn. We are ready up. We draw back up four. We get armor vest, resize. Uh, we were one away from the double resource iron fist, uh, which I think we want to play to keep the claw stunned for a couple of turns while we regroup and genius, so decent, uh, decent pool of cars for next turn. Now we just need to survive to next turn. Uh, villain face, we had a threat. Uh, I will defend. So I'm defending uh, 1 plus uh, 3, so I take 1 damage. And the encounter card is Sonic Boom. Uh, when revealed, either spend resources or exhaust each character. I'll just exhaust. I don't have any characters that are not exhausted, though, so that doesn't do anything. So, uh, that is a good <laughs> recovery turn. Let's go to the next hero phase and see how we recover then. Okay, so... Let's see, we'll draw a card, uh, we get army of ants, that is really good news. I think uh, uh, we'll start, let's, let's see, I really will play Iron Fist and these are for that, but we get a card when we play this, then we get a card when we go to Alter Ego, uh, no, in the uh, tiny version, so we can play the army of ants, so I'll uh, resize. So I'll go to tiny version, we remove one threat, uh, we draw a card, we draw a card. Okay. Uh, I really don't need the hive mind at the moment, but we need one more card for Iron Fist. I'll play Iron Fist now so I don't forget. And I'll play the army of ants. And Iron Fist comes into play with two Mystic Counters. I just... 
yeah, I'll, I'll click back to giant version and the helmet heals two damage. Iron Fist will attack. Claw. I'll remove one Mystic Counter. I'll deal one damage and stun. Uh, four. Then I will deal two damage. And I think we want to... Uh, I think it, it's okay to advance to... Oh yeah, mm -hmm. before I flip back, <laughs> I, I'll... Okay, backsies. So uh, I'll use the army of ants to go to phase 3. So uh, Claw comes into play with tough. And when Claw attacks, the same. And Claw has 22 health, so put back the health. And now we go back to giant version. Now we heal the two damage. And I'll we can't uh, not using night nurse this turn. Just in, in case uh, we are we start getting stunned or something like that. So uh, we ready up. We draw. After four, we get an extra encounter card, unfortunately. We get the power of protection times two, clear, and electrostatic armor. We go to the villain phase, we add a threat. Claw tries to, yeah. Claw tries to attack, uh, we remove the stun, we get encounter cards. First one is Hydra Jet Trooper, it has quick strike. Mm. I'm fine taking the damage, so I can just hit with uh, giant Ant-Man next turn. Then we get a uh, Flame Soldier. Okay, that needs a bit more work, so we will see how we deal with that. But that is the villain phase. Let's go to the next hero phase. We draw by drawing. A, uh, we start by drawing a card. Now uh, we get 5 mind. Let's see if we, uh, what we can do. So I'm definitely playing Clea. Organize this bit. Okay. Then... Uh, we can't. If I'm going to a uh, tiny version, playing the five man to clear the uh, clear the threat. Let's see how we can. So I think I will hit for. So this is only when I when after we change the giant hero form, we get So doesn't do anything right now. So I'll just hit three here. I think I will flip to tiny version. I'll draw a card with the helmet. I get Nick Fury. I don't have enough to play Nick Fury, which is a shame. I, don't, I think I'll keep Nick Fury for next turn. We'll play Hive Mind. Uh, we remove two threats from a scheme. Remove one additional threat from a scheme for its army of hands. Cube control so five. We, we remove one the Ant-Man Tiny version, but we remove the rest with the High Mind. And then, um, I think we'll just uh, defeat this guy with Clea. Then uh, we'll use the Army of Ants to defeat the Jet Trooper. And our Iron Fist will uh, use the Mystic counter to deal one damage and stun claw, then hit for two. And actually, we forgot to put those. 
consequentials on our Fisto just two now. And that is that turn will ready up. Uh, we draw back up to five. I'll keep Nick Fury in hand. We get strength, desperate defense, downtime, wing carrier, and Nick Fury, so I think we can manage to get Nick Fury out next turn. We add a threat to the main scheme. Claw tries to attack, is stunned, we remove the stun, we get an encounter card. It's an armored guard. Okay. So, uh, that is the villain phase. Let's go to the next hero phase. I think we will first draw a card. Uh, we get resize. Okay, that is uh, useful. Then I'll play Nick Fury. I'll use strength, desperate defense, and downtime. I'll draw three cards with Nick Fury. Okay, uh, got the Wasp, Nova, and Team Particle, so we could resize, uh, yeah, let's see, let's uh, resize, I'll do one damage here, I'll, I have four attacks, so Yeah, uh, Nick Fury and Clea will clear the armored guard. So Clea goes actually in our discard. Now in our deck. And we heal too when we go to a giant version with the helmet. Nick Fury has one damage. And uh, because I turned to giant form, I have four attacks, so I'll attack. Floor for 4 damage. Fix this to 16. Then uh, I think I'm going back to tiny version. I'll draw a card with the helmet. I get giant stomp. Well, Hmm, do I want to play Wasp? Uh, the, yeah, and I remove one threat when I go to Tiny version. I think Wasp or Nova. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll play Wasp. So I'll use Nova, Queen Carrier. Team particles, play wasp, and um, I'll deal three damage with the arm ants, and then two with wasp. Okay, so we remove five, and uh, hmm. We can just hit with Iron Fist. We deal two damage. Uh, I'll keep the giant stomp in hand because next turn we can defeat Claw. And I think I'm using Knight's Nurse to just get one health back. Be ready up. Uh, we draw back up to five. So we get clear, resize, uh, armor vest, energy barrier, and giant stomp. Claw attacks. Uh, we add a threat first. Claw attacks. I'll defend with Nick Fury. Claw hits for uh, weapon runner in play. So Claw barely defeats Nick Fury. Weapon runner attacks for one. And encounter card is uh, Weapon Master. When reveal hero, the villain attacks you if 
they have a weapon attachment is for insert. They don't have a weapon as attachment. I think I'm just defending with Wasp. So boost it. Discard yourself during an undefended attack. Discard as a for control. And because I'm not sure if this because I'm defending with an ally. Either way, if if I would need to discard something, I would discard the uh, Knight's Nurse, but I think I am defending, so Wasp gets defeated. And that is... Okay, I've got to ready these. So, that is the villain phase. Let's go to the next hero phase. Okay, so... I think it's a pretty easy turn. I'll use two of the army of ants to just defeat this guy. Then I'll use one to deal one damage to claw. Let's draw a card. Just for the heck of it. Mm. Okay. Um, I will use resize to go to and man giant version, I'll heal two damage. Just well draw a card, a momentum shift. Uh, and I'll deal one damage with Antman's ability. I'll uh, I'll hit for four. And I'll finish it off with the giant stomp. He'll do damage with the team particles. Okay, and uh, we deal one to every minion and then eight to claw. So claw expert is defeated. And that is the game. I think. And man in protection is really good because you can just keep uh, switching between a tiny and giant version. Then, um, when you get the helmet down, you constantly keep healing and man. And keep, when you go to a tiny version, you keep drawing cards, which helps to. Uh, Keep your deck flowing, even as I had uh, 45 cards in the deck, it didn't flow that any, in any way. I kept drawing cards I needed, and after you get the army of ants, the helmet, some of the giant strengths into play, uh, the deck gets uh, a bit cleaner. And yeah, I think this was a pretty good. Uh, game uh, with Ant-Man. I had a bit of a struggle with my last play with Ant-Man in Justice, but in uh, protection I really like Ant-Man and I think this is probably my favorite aspect to play Ant-Man in. But yeah, hope you guys liked the playthrough. As always, thanks for watching and until next time.